This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by RevGear. Use code MMA Nuts to get 20% off retail prices. Normal exclusions apply. HostGator, get one cent hosting for the first month. Code MMA one cent at HostGator.com. Tire Buyer, save 7% off 400 plus with code MMA7 at TireBuyer.com. Save 20% off with code MMA Nuts at ProtectTheBed.com. DefenseSoap.com, serious soap for serious athletes. Save 15% off with code MMA Nuts. Hey fans, it's Emily Nuts, episode 281. 281! My name is Ingo Weigold. Matt Griffith, MMA Show, by my fans, for my fans, where we walk the line between serious and ridiculous. Woo! Yes. <laughs> yeah, but Ed. Well, we typically start the show out lately talking about the weather, so I'm going to okay. not do that. It's pretty fucking nice out. It is nice out. <laughs> Damn it! I was, we were going to do it! What do you want to talk about? I want to say this. I, no, not food. What you had... Matt cooks these, uh, what are they, like, burger oh, patties? Frozen Sam's Club burgers. <laughs> they don't taste frozen, though. It's like, every time you make them, I'm like, this is fucked up. Like, I'm expecting, like, this nasty, f- I'm like, yeah. this is actually pretty tasty. So whatever they put in those, they're delicious. Mm-hmm. Had his uh, daughter's birthday party today. Um, but I want to say, I mentioned this, I think maybe you were there, I don't know, but I'm really impressed. Michelle Obama at the NFL oh, Combine, holy crap, like, she's working out, doing her thing. Uh strangely attractive might i say i'm like in a weird like wait a second i'm feeling a little awkward right now kind of way she's a little thick but like hey, in the right places good. that's your thing and she's very Ashley smiley Graham. yeah right exactly um so you know i don't know she's probably on, on all sorts of drugs <laughs> there's no performance enhancing my wife is like she's on a thing. bunch of shit oh like, fuck the, yeah they are probably so whatever it's fine she's doing that shit at that advanced age but um, uh, yeah so she can make her run for president <laughs> oh god oh the the super tuesday or whatever it's called is coming up is that week. important apparently i, I think know. it'll be the big big like hashing out time of who's really going to run we already know mm-hmm. you know we already know although um one one another uh democrat dropped out just a couple of days ago so it's looking more like maybe it will be sanders or clinton most likely clinton yeah it's a fitty you fitty know, seems here. like we know who's going to get on the republican side come on yeah, the, the Donald. So, not good. It makes for some theater. Great you know? TV. Yeah, there was a good video on Facebook I saw of somebody mm-hmm. roasting uh, Trump. This this like happened recently. Uh uh-huh. And it's you got to Google this. I mean, it, and Obama's there sitting at the, on the panel, and Trump's in the crowd, and the guy, the comedian's roasting Trump, and Trump is just like not happy. He's not having it. You get like zero reaction from the guy. Uh-huh. He's fucking fuming. I was expecting his toupee to catch <laughs> on fire. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't think he takes like a very. You know, he's he's a one of those like proud old school guys. Like, do what you're told. I'm the man. I got yeah, the money. You don't talk when I'm talking, <laughs> <That's right>. motherfucker. <laughs> so it remains to be seen what happens. But let's talk a little MMA. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. You don't say. <laughs> hey, we had a fight pass event happen yeah. over the weekend. We're only gonna talk about one fight. Okay, great. Anderson Silva and Michael Bisping. Yes! The fight that should have happened three years earlier (laughs) because then it was no chance for Bisping. And going into this fight, we said, ah, probably about a 50 50. 50 50. And I think that's what we got. What was your take on said fight? And before you go into that, I got to give you the body watch. What did you make of Anderson Silva's body type seeing? How he just tested positive for form sensing drugs, coming back, and now... The incredible shrinking man, he looked quite lean. Not not as cut, but lean in a, like, not so ripped and... I mean, I was surprised. In his face, I, I don't know, maybe... I gotta see side by side, but I feel like his whole... Especially in this area, things mm-hmm. kind of shrunk back down, so... A little bit. Yeah. Might have been on it his whole career, and I'm okay with that, but... Sure. There's definitely a, a notice there. Yeah. I mean, not everybody gets huge when they take rights, no. you know? No. It's like, not necessarily what it does. But uh, Bisming thought looked similar. Yeah, I don't know. You, you had mentioned maybe... Yeah, he like a little thicker. Bigger. Like, he might yeah. be on something, but maybe. hey. Who knows? Yeah, here and there. It's in the UK. I'm sure they do all the... Right Stringent testing. testing. Yes. Because yes. they're not biased towards their own guy. No. No. Um, my take on the fight, okay, yeah. well, I was uh, kind of uh, surprised by the fact that Anderson never really got super aggressive, and he seemed to be doing a lot of playing around, and, and I didn't get to see a this. hand jive yeah. from fucking Greece or whatever. We just watched it like a few minutes ago, because I didn't see it yesterday, but I mean, 
I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, is this what we're going to get now every time we see an Anderson Silva fight? Is that what, is that what the deal is? is? Is basically he's gone full, like, retard in that direction? <laughs> yeah. So Super arrogant. Yeah. Very casual. Has biz being hurt at times and then doesn't come at him aggressively. No. And no, and I, I will say hands down, I think Bisbing won that fight three rounds to two. Um, what did I say? One, two, four, four, and Anderson gets three, three and five. five. Yeah, yeah, we agree on that. Yeah, so I mean, and there was that whole controversy in the third round. Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. The knee, yeah, well, Bisbing loses his mouthpiece, and this is again Bisbing. <laughs> if the fight doesn't go perfect, yes. he gets mentally distracted, almost like he has a. ADD or something ADD. to the point. My mouthpiece, my mouthpiece. Exactly. So this time he, he loses holding his it, mouthpiece he? and he's pointing to Herb Dean like, oh, put my mouthpiece back in. And as he's distracted, Herb didn't stop the fight. He didn't tell Anderson to back off. Anderson comes in and whoop, bam, flying hits knee. him with a flying knee and knocks oh. him down. And Anderson thinks he won the fight and mm -hmm. gets up on the cage, starts celebrating. And yep. What a chaos, controversy. Bisbing's not getting his cuts attended to properly. Nope. Uh, Anderson's good, like, almost into the crowd. Yeah, it was like a two-minute rest period, too, for yeah. both guys. And, um, you know, there was talk online of they wanted it to be a no contest and all this. After I'm like, what? what? How's that? Makes no right. sense. No. So He comes back down, and then you have the fourth round start, and you'd think if Anderson almost finished Bisbing in the third round, he would come out aggressive. He waits 30 seconds before he throws a fucking kick. Uh, what are you doing? He, he yep. just is. He gave that fight to Bisbing. Yes, Bisbing had a good fight, but Anderson's lack of aggression when he had him injured. And even there was a point, I forgot what round it is, where Anderson hit him with that front kick to the face. He waits five or six seconds. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's him being arrogant again, going, ah, I fucking knocked him out. I'm going to get this classic KO. Yep. Fucking picture of me. I think me. it was round five, if I remember correctly. Near the Probably. End. And yeah. then he, he finally then rushes in after five or six seconds. Mm -hmm. Just his decision-making process seems a little bit off. And it was yeah. just very weird of when he's playing possum to let Michael come in and when he's going aggressive. And I felt like he should have been more using more kicks throughout the fight. He's Agreed. trying to just play boxing and trying to rely on his head movement and speed where I think we're at that point where he's obviously not on any kind of drugs anymore. Nope. And that, that's fair to say because he did test positive, so we can say that. And I think age has caught up. Mm -hmm. His chin is not there. Bisping dropped him twice. Yep. When? How often does that happen? It it's, never had happened before. So It's I mean, not, and they weren't like killer strikes. They were solid, but not, you've seen... <laughs> Anderson eats oh, yeah. punches all the I mean, time. He ate some pass. of them in this fight too, but I think ever since Weidman, that was like it was kind of like mm -hmm. that thing that set it off. And yeah. ever since it started getting worse and worse. Um, but the, the stupid thing is, is that when he was aggressive and he was trying to win the fight, he was winning the fight. So why doesn't he do that the whole time? I don't understand. What is he doing? I have no idea, man. <laughs> it's crazy because he could, he probably could finish his fight in the under a round if he really wanted to, right? But what is he just, is this what he does? Like he wants to get a workout in? Or, it's I almost like he was coasting yeah. to the point where he thought he was so far ahead. Just eh, And even the last 10 seconds of the fifth round, yeah. he's running away from Bisbing thinking, oh, I got this one. I don't yeah. want to risk getting knocked out right now. No, oh, Bisbing's face is fucked up. So probably, yeah. that's oh kind of like, I, you know, I always wonder and. Like, what What do you got to be thinking? Like, if the guy across from you is totally messed up and his face is just shit, right? Are you thinking, I got this motherfucker? Or are you thinking, God damn, this guy's tough. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, what do I got to do? Sure. Seriously, you know, and maybe a little of both. So, I, you know, I don't know. It. Well, he's probably thinking he won. And we, his corner, we were joking around beforehand, it's yeah. probably like having... Edmund Traverian in your corner. <laughs> You're doing great, champ. You're King kicking goes. his ass. You're yes. ahead 5-0 or yes. whatever. 4-0 going yep. into the fifth round. Yeah. Seeing how after the fight where Ed Soros once again <laughs> translates for Anderson Silva and doesn't translate... Uh, Correctly? Exactly. So someone on Reddit from Brazil translated it, and here's his translation, which may or may not be right, but I'm going with it as being 100% correct. Brazil, here's the thing. You can't win in one way. They try to take it from you in another way. You saw how it went, right? So I have nothing to say. I fought for you, and that's it. 
Guys, thank you for the support. My family, I'm coming back home now. I'm fine and that's it. Mission accomplished, mission given, but sometimes it's just like Brazil. Total corruption. <laughs> uh, I didn't quite hear that from Mr. Soros as yeah. the translator. And why is he translating? Why doesn't the UFC have their own translator? Because I feel we're getting fucked on the translations. Oh, yeah. If, if a man says something... Someone should translate it <laughs> uh, on 100% translation. There should be no, I am editing you because I'm your manager and yes. uh, we don't want everybody to really know what you said. <laughs> well, it's always that joke, right? There's, it's a question, no matter what language, the guy speaks for 30 seconds and, and the guy who translates has three words. <laughs> it's like, yeah, exactly. He said, I love my fans. <laughs> like, what? Like, okay. He's spewing out. <laughs> you gotta, you what else did he say? Exactly. What? Is that Spanish? I don't know. I'm just speaking gibberish, but <laughs> okay. nice. you know, I'm trying to fill up space. So, eh, it's normal. So, no, it's good for not. the count. Um, yeah, good for him. Title but, shot! Title shot, Ingo! Well, the thing is, is he didn't really ask for that, you know, and I know he's very humble in, in, his, in his victory, talking a lot, a, a lot of good things about the former champ and all this, but... Uh, well, no thanks to Jesus. No, thankfully. Good for him. Good job, Mike. <laughs> I'm um, sick of that. I'm yeah. sick of this... Thank God, you know, thank Jesus for helping me. He didn't ask for the fight, though. So it's like, does he really want it? I don't know. Does he really want the belt? He's kind of like wishy-washy <laughs> by it. Well, he did get his ass kicked by Luke Rockhold. And yeah. unfortunately, they're making the rematch of Luke Rockhold and Chris Weidman at UFC 199. Why? I don't know. Because Weidman's going to KO his ass? Oh. Because he only came in at 10%. And, ah, so no, he's going to come in at 30. Good. Good, great. Maybe 40. Team Weidman. Yay. <laughs> Woo. I fucking hate these rematches. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. If, if Bisbing can't get that re or the title fight, I, fuck it. He gets the title fight in my book. That's how I'm going. He gets winner of Weidman versus Rockhold. Okay. Anderson Silva. I don't know what to do with him. He's like one and four. Or one of three in his last four fights. And he is not looking the same. So No. You almost need to put him in the Masters division right fucking Hells now. yeah, let's do that. Let's get, bring Rick Franklin out of retirement. Yeah. Let's do that shit again. Uh, I don't know who would win at this point. Rich never beat him, right? No, lost twice. Lost twice. Oh, Rich, here's your chance. <laughs> he might, but I don't know. Rich may have declined so much too because he hasn't fought in such a long time. But... Last fight was what? Vandalay or Chuck I, Liddell? One of the two? Uh, it might have been Liddell. I don't know. It's been so long. Yeah. But he, you know, he I don't, he would never be able to come back unless he quit at 1FC. He still weighs his food. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> He's still on top of the world. Still on the diet. Oh, fuck. Fuck that shit. So I don't know what to do with Anderson. It's just, we're getting a, he's trying to be the same fighter, but he needs to kind of accept his age and... Know his role? Yeah. You know, it just seems like he's just fighting too arrogant, too casual, um, too cautious, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more aggressive. He needs more aggression. I feel like he could have finished that fight at times and just... Didn't? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It was there. There was so much blood coming down in Bisping's crazy, eyes. Man. Like, he can't see. Like, what are you doing? Right. Attack, attack. Let's yep. go. <sighs> Sad story, Matt. Yes. Everyone gets old. It is. Don't move right along. Yes. In, out, done, UFC, whatever. Now we're into some news. Please. Bellator 149 ratings are in. Yes. Average of 2.1 million viewers. Speaking at 2.5 million during a Kimbo versus Dada fight. Ouch. And 2.4 million during Gracie versus Shamrock 3. So. Wow, they have an audience. What does that say about the state of MMA right now? Uh, people are still yearning for the old days of spectacle, mm. and they don't want to see all this like normalization of commercialization of blandization of like everyone's vanilla like masturbation. Yes, ejaculation, all those things. Whatever shuns you want to speak about. Sure. The UFC is doing it wrong, in my opinion, uh, as far as the fan base is concerned, because their viewers are going down and down and down, and other organizations' viewers are going up and up and up. It's, it's, I think you're hitting the nail right on the head. It's spectacle, right? Yes. I, I'm so fired up for spectacle. You've been like, force-fed 
just shit, shit, shit. I don't always need to see the best guy versus the best guy. Yeah. I want to see the most interesting fights available. That's why McGregor's a draw. He's crazy. Yeah, he's, he's, it's exactly people love it. it. You know, this guy's nuts. He's going up to like fifty weight classes. As soon as he's fighting at heavyweight, who knows? <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> but you know what? It's in this. Yeah. I don't want to go too deep because we're going to talk about it later. But it's fun fights. That's yes. what we want to see. And in do we this... have any fun fights coming up? By the way, nothing. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Not that I know of yet, but you know, a lot of people are saying Bellator is ruining the sport, oh. and I think Jimmy Smith was on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani talking about the ratings and saying, "Man, the fans need to, to watch the fights that matter, and not this shit." I'm like, "Well, you know what? The fans want to see this shit." Jimmy Smith I, said this. Yeah, uh -huh. I want to see this shit. And you have to recognize what the fans want, and at least Scott Coker is doing that. Yeah. Is it the best MMA out there? Absolutely <sighs> not. Is it the most interesting? Yes. What's wrong with that? I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. We we don't always want the 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 fights that should happen. We want the fucking freak shows, and other organizations are realizing this, and that's how they're going to win. You can't compete against the UFC. Fighter for fighter, you have to compete. Freak show. Yes. Freak show, circus, whatever you want to call it. That's what's going to win. I agree. And the ratings said it themselves. 2.1 million average. That's crazy. 2.5 here and 2.4 on even on the, the crazy versus Shamrock. Yeah. So there's interest and the fans are voting. We want more of it. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Speaking of which, what? Sean Shirk just said he wants to come back and fight Hoist Gracie and Bellator. Why not? Do it. Might as well get Matt Hughes involved. <laughs> well, yeah. And the, the interesting thing about Shirk is he's saying he doesn't want to come back to the UFC. He wants his own sponsors. He wants to make the most money possible. Yeah. It makes total sense, He's right? got a hook connection with Muscle Farm, right? Or is that he's related to this brand somehow? Uh, probably. Think, something like this. I mean, he did test positive. I thought he had claimed tainted supplements back in the day. Happens every time. He just fucked this cycle up. Yeah. It's okay. It's old school. What else? Oh, drug testing? Yes. I'll just keep rolling here. You saw a random drug test watch. 335 tests. 240 athletes tested. 6.09 tests per day. Anderson Silva leading the pack with eight random drug tests. Anthony Rumble Johnson at five. Eddie Alvarez, Thiago Alves, Josh Barnett, Ron Carnero, and Rafael Dos Anjos at four. John Jones yet to be tested this year at all. No reason to test the champ. Yeah, why? The champ is clear. Yeah. He's totally clean. That guy's got no history of drugs in his system. None. Clean driving record. Absolutely. Straight as an arrow. <laughs> Something like that. Should I keep rolling here? Please. Or, uh... Yeah, I don't have any news not pertaining to... Yeah, the, we we the got next. a lot of discussion coming on yes. that. Holly Holm and her manager said they're, they're open to going up to 140 and having a catchweight fight with Chris Cyborg. Mm-hmm. Doesn't sound like the UFC is too keen on making said matchup, but well, and she, I, you know what? That was one of the things I was going to mention. Cyborg had a tweet uh, when McGregor was announced announced the fight with uh, at 170. Yeah, it's talk like a little dig at at uh, Ronda mm -hmm. again, saying like it's interesting because real champs. Did you see that this tweet? Like something about like real champs go up and wait to fight the best. He's yes. just trying to kind of like dig at Rousey of again. Of course. Well, I, I think it goes back to Ronda always knew she was going to lose. Yeah. I mean, Holly proved that out. I mean, shit, Cyborg may have done that instantly. It's hard to say, but... Maybe, maybe not. No. Cyborg striking, not the greatest. Like, it, it's, it's, just, it's just raw aggression. <laughs> and she may have fallen right into Ronda's trap. She may have fallen right into a clinch. I, I think back to when Cyborg fought... Gina Carano, Carano yes. had her mounted a couple times on that fight. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, anything can happen, but, you know, I don't like the way all that went down. She just wussed out of that fight, Ronda did. Well. And it would have been the biggest money-making one, and, you know, she thought the train was going to keep rolling. And... It stops. Yeah, it stops at an abrupt stop, <laughs> like a career ender. Potentially. Kinda. Well, now she's going to have babies. Yeah. 
That happens. Is she gonna Jessica Simpson on us? Remember it, Jessica? Oh, Jesus. Remember how fucking huge Jessica Simpson got? Not well, that she brought it back. She did. And it's fine, like I'm okay with like you get pregnant with I get it, but I mean she was like, Whoa, <laughs> holy she fuck. Do that, and then maybe they'll like, remake Dukes of Hazard for the third <laughs> Yes. And then she Daisy Dukes. Yeah. Yeah. She Wait. was one back in the day. Like her she was like, damn, that chick's hot. And then you're like, damn, what happened? Well, that damn, that chick's stupid. Did you ever see her when she had that show? Oh, yeah. And I got MTV. My wife used to watch the show. I watched, when, in my college days, we used to watch it together. And I was like, every, I'm like, dude, how is this girl so successful? <laughs> how did, yeah, the, how does she get this through dumb, life? <laughs> I don't understand how she's that stupid. I don't, like, how is this possible? She's and talented then, on the one side, yes, but in real life. Singing in looks. Oh, my God. And, her husband, Nick Lachey, like, who you think he's a boy band, like, stupid guy, actually, smart businessman, intelligent guy, has has the looks, can sing a little bit, and they would have these interactions, I'm just going, dude, why did you marry this woman? Like, I don't know what the fuck, dude, you're a good-looking, smart guy, and you married some bimbo dummy, like, <laughs> yeah. I know she's hot, but you could find a million other women who yeah. are hot, who have, like, brains, you know, it's like, wow. Maybe the pussy was just so good, it he could had be. to snatch that up, and then after yeah. a while... Like, whoa, I gotta get out. I gotta get out, especially when it's been aired on TV oh, yeah. to show how stupid she was. I wonder oh, what the over... I think most people that do this on TV shit, oh, it yeah. doesn't work out. <laughs> it's, it's almost a 100% yeah. divorce rate, yes. except for the Osbournes, I think, was oh, yeah. the one that broke the mold for that. Yeah, but those two are like... They're so I mean, established yeah. at that point, but it's like Hillary every Bill, other one. Yeah, you know, it's like that's just not. You right. can't do anything to fuck that up no, at that point. You've late. been through everything. I can't understand. I watched that show, and half the time, I, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Like, I have no clue. What he he's... said he was so hooked up on drugs at that point. That's why he was like shaking and oh, really? semi-retarded. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was big time on the drugs during oh, that right. show, and now he he's almost. You can understand him a little bit better now, if you were to hear him speak. Okay. You can actually understand. What him. kind of drugs? Like heroin and shit? I have no idea. They never went into detail. Isn't like everything? Yeah, pretty much. And of course, if you're going to take it, take it rectally. I, I take this to go up. I take this to go down. <laughs> I want to go sideways. I take that. <laughs> I take this. Sometimes everything all at the same time. That yeah, I'm right. Okay, nice. What else you got? Uh, Chuck Liddell, he was recently saying that he thought he could give John Jones a run for his money. And I don't know if he's talking about now, but I'm just thinking, uh, if you had a prime Chuck Liddell, mm -hmm. you think he could be John Jones? Prime Chuck versus prime John. You think Ooh, he could win? That's a tough one, because I'm a huge Liddell fan, and yeah. I can't stand John Jones. I'm trying to... Th I'm going to have to go ahead and say no. I, I, I think... I think I think it would be a war, and I don't think John can knock out Liddell. He might be able to choke him out, but I think it would be a war, but the Liddell loses that one, I think, at nine times or ten times out of ten. Mm -hmm. I mean, John is just too crafty. He's too big and strong and fast. And I mean, Chuck, there's always that one chance. Like, dude, he's just got to clip him one time, and it's, it's lights out. So, you know, I, that's an interesting fight. He's, I, think, I agree, 100%. 100%. Sorry, Chuck. I love you still, but... Because it's the know. the creativity of Jones, yeah, in that wrestling pedigree, and I know Chuck had great takedown defense, but I he think did. John will still get you. Uh, look yeah. at Cormier, right? Yeah, He's taking him down. Oh, dude, he shouldn't have taken him down on a wrestling versus wrestling standpoint. Yeah, but John's just—he's a fucking animal. It's crazy. Literally undefeated. Mm -hmm. That Matt Hamill loss does not count. Or the drugs and the alcohol yeah, problems. Yeah, and that's the other <laughs> thing. That. Think of, you know, John, if he was 100% dedicated to the sport, he's yeah. probably 60. But you'd say the same thing for Chuck, though. Uh, maybe, a but party it seemed like redlining it. some of that was pushed under the, yeah. Yeah. the the carpet, and not everyone knew everything that Chuck? happened in the background. Sure, I'm sure no. there's tons well, there's of that, shit. Well, do you remember that interview he did one morning on like, one of the up. morning yeah. show? It doesn't make any sense of what he's, fuck he's talking about. Yeah. And, this is crazy, but but John I, even said it himself that he's so talented. Look at the Gustafson fight that he basically didn't train for that fight and still was able to win. Yeah, I don't know of any other fighter that could be able to pull away some shit at such a high level with the stakes so high. You're yeah. fighting for a, a title for fuck's sake, and uh, I'm not really gonna train. I'm gonna go do some blow, whatever. Still come out, kick some ass, smoking weed all the yeah. time, <laughs> getting high. Whatever it takes. So it's all good. 
Yeah, I think we're in agreement then. Okay. John Jones nice. wins. Surprisingly so. Yeah. Well, the last thing I have, uh, Nate Corey was talking about the lo- lawsuit against the UFC. He had a little update. So yeah. I'll just read what he posted on Facebook. He said, things are progressing along well. We'll have a big announcement in the next week or so. Our discovery is starting to take place, so our lawyers are getting hundreds of thousands of documents. Let's just say everything we thought was true is true times 10. I don't think I can start talking about them yet, but hold tight. It's going to be a crazy ride. I mean, some of the stuff we're finding out is comedically evil. And those who want to rule the world can't understand. The rest of us just want to live in it. So, hmm. we'll see what happens here. I, I know you would have to imagine if you're getting all the details and documents from internal UFC, there's got to be some shit. Oh, yeah. There's some shit. For sure. Because when we email back and forth to each other, we uh, mail some shit. Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> but we're not taking over the world. I always, I always <laughs> worry about that now. I'm like, dude, what would... Like, if it ever came down to whatever, if someone got a hold of my email and just started, like, researching, I think yeah. I'd be in big trouble. Like, <laughs> based on some of the things I've written to myself or to other people. Oh, like, for sure. So, I mean, you know, it's only... And back in those days, people didn't worry about that at all because it wasn't, like, really... You know, you never thought about that. Like, And you can't tell if you're joking or not right. in some of the context of an email. Mm-hmm. And wow. If you're at court and you go through that... So this is going to hash oh. out in the next week, he's saying? Well, he Give said something like that. They're going to okay. have a big announcement next week. So hopefully it's something juicy because this <laughs> one's been festering <laughs> for a while. Awesome. And I feel the UFC is wrong in a lot of this wow. case. They're going to hit with a huge like $500 million but lawsuit or something crazy. At the end of the day, they, um, the, they're not independent contractors. The fighters are employees. That's the way they're treating them. Yeah. So they need to start paying them a fucking salary. I agree. So... Look those motherfuckers up. That and a fucking union, so we don't have to oh, have yeah. this uh, USADA six drug test per day kind of <laughs> bullshit. Just Rectal. Whatever we want to do, we're doing and just running you over. Yes. And if you don't like it, Benson Henderson yourself over to Bellator. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's see how he does over there. I'm rooting for him. Go, Benson. Yeah, yeah I'm sure he's going to do Make quite well. Make that paper, brother. 155, 170, wherever. Belt. Yeah. So let's let's get into some UFC 196 and let's start with the big thing. All right, it happened in uh, March 5th, right? Yep. And just recently announced, mm-hmm. big news: Dos Anjos unfortunately injured himself during training. Okay. It seemed to be like a freak thing. There, he was sparring with some guy, kicked kicked the elbow. I uh, felt a little pain. Couldn't really go out, iced it, whatever. And like, oh, this shit's broken. So. Sorry. Isn't this a little fishy, though? Yes. Like, his last real training session. Uh-huh. Are you sure he didn't fail a random drug test? And then they said, listen, you might want to drop a weight on your foot. <laughs> I'm, <fucking laughs> just I'm just saying. It's your foot or your fucking ass. Which right. one do you want? It's, your it, choice. It is odd. It is odd. But, you know, shit happens, I guess. But that's okay, because you know what? I'm more yeah. excited for what's happening next yeah. than what was going to happen. So... Tell us, Matt. What, well, what? Then we have these, the Conor McGregor sweepstakes. So, you know, he's out. And then everybody and their mother wants to fight him, right? <laughs> I'll take the fight. Which is, which is nice because yeah. uh, it's a short notice fight. I don't know what, fucking 10 days. Mm-hmm. So I want to say, Jesus Christ, at least Pettis, one of the peas. I got to look back at all my notes. They offered it to Frankie Edgar, but Edgar was injured, so he had to turn it down. They offer it to Jose Aldo, a guy who's saying, I'll fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. I'm not ready. Nope. Are you fucking kidding me? This is your only chance to get another shot at Conor McGregor. What the fuck no are thanks. you doing? What no. are you doing? You doesn't take that anything. fight. He doesn't want it. That 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 one, I'm done with Aldo. You're dead to me. Faber was in the mix yep. on this one? Faber had yeah. a signed contract and everything. I'm not sure how that one fell apart. So basically, it comes down to we got Donald Cowboy Cerrone, who's actually in fight shape, ready to fight, wants mm-hmm. to fight, and Nate Diaz, probably not in fight shape. And Dana White said, we're going to go with Nate Diaz because Rafael Dos Anjos just beat Donald Cerrone, so Nate has the edge in if it's going to be Cerrone or Diaz, which... I don't know, it seems kind of weird. And, and this is a fight I thought they should have made anyway, 
right mm -hmm. afterwards. This was the one that had the most heat. You had Diaz in the octagon right after he beat Michael Johnson saying, fuck you, McGregor. I'm the one who made this division. I'm the one that's been here. Motherfucker, come get it. Mm -hmm. I'm the money fight, right? Yeah. He got it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and I will say this too. Listen, if you're in this weight division or not, if you, whoever you're is Connor's fighting next, like be ready, even if it's not you. Because shit, look at look at what's go, it's four times now. How many? It's well, more the than, title fights is twice. Is twice. Yeah, and so this is another one where we get guys to take it on short notice. So he, this guy's getting his fucking pick. Uh, who do you want? Oh, I want that guy. Yeah, I want that Chad Mendes on two weeks. Oh. I want Nate Diaz on 10 days. Hey, probably re-upping his contract <sighs> every time, too. He's like, give me more money. And okay. it's at 170, yes. right? Yes, it's crazy. And the crazy thing is, they said he's walking around at 177 right now. Wow. And Dana White's making such a big deal. We've never had a guy move up two weight classes. Oh, my God. Pulling out the one hair he still has on his head, Homer <laughs> Simpson style. But Yes. Um, if he weighs 177... Mm -hmm. He's fighting in the correct weight class right now. Well, Nate's bigger. I think Nate's bigger than him. By, by but still, a lot. the, the, the problem is we're making a big deal of move, him moving up, too. Sure. But now he's fighting in the correct weight class. He's so doing a Frankie Edgar slash BJ Penn's approach of fight what you weigh, you know. That's like, how, where he should be fighting. Yes, but not, Nate's not doing that. I, I bet you Nate's close to 200. No, no. You don't think so? No. In the he's six foot, but I He's don't a tall know, dude, he's tall and lanky. That much. Because no? if he's fighting down at 55, there's no way he's cutting that much. You think so? Maybe not. I, guess I, I would not. say he's probably in the yeah. high 170s. Okay, good point. Maybe so. right. I overstated that, sorry. For dramatic effect. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's like it's, 220. It's crazy. And then we have the, this... Well, I want to say, uh, the one thing I'm disappointed about for this fight is I wanted two months of build-up for all the fuck yous to go back and forth, and we got a little taste of it yeah. at this press conference. It's probably better that it isn't, because Nate did Too much? They're, might, they're probably going to get in a fight beforehand. Yeah, that, and I don't think Nate's really like going to give you much else other than, fuck you, two on a fucking nah, he, bitch. He, he had the Trump card. At he the did? I think he won the press conference. Did you really? Because Why? when he said, you're on steroids... <laughs> That struck a nerve with McGregor. Yeah. McGregor got all amped up. I'm not on steroids. I'm totally against that. What about you and your scrap pack? Gilbert Melendez says it positive. Jake uh -huh. Shields says it positive. What do you have to say about that? Like, you're on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> the whole UFC is on steroids. Yeah. Like, oh, that, that struck a nerve, so I thought that was interesting. Hmm. And then the other question that comes to mind is, you know, Nate Diaz is a big fan of weed, mm -hmm. and someone made this pretty cool um, poster for oh, McGregor nice. versus Diaz, yeah, where yeah. you have the four leaf clover versus the the weed plant over there. And uh -huh. who is this? The MMA Mafia made that, so I'll post that up so you can see that. But seeing how he's taken this fight on ten days' notice, do you think he's going to get a therapeutic use exemption from USADA? For his medical marijuana use. Uh, because maybe. I can just see Nevada State Athletic Commission right now salvating, going, we got another Diaz, and he's going to make a million dollars for this fight, yeah. and we're totally going to steal his money again, <laughs> suspend him, and fucking rape everybody. Yeah. That could happen. That would be unfortunate. <sighs> it will. Wouldn't that be it, something? And will. Uh, what, do you, what do you think the odds are of him? I think that's a question. I should probably save that for later. Great question, actually. I'll save that for later. All but right. um, The other thought that's coming out of here is you have Nate fighting him and say, we'll, we'll go into the details of the fight. I have another point I want to make that if Connor beats Nate Diaz here at UFC 196, do you mm -hmm. think this sets up a fight with Connor versus Nick Diaz at UFC 200, get some redemption for his brother. God, that would be so crazy. <laughs> you know, it, I'd be really torn what would make more sense, like the, the Nick Diaz or the Robbie Lawler. Like, right. which fight do you make? If I think if you're the UFC, go fuck the belt. It doesn't matter. Like, dude, this That's, is the biggest fight it, exactly. in the history, perhaps, ever. This would be, this could be bigger than him and Aldo. It could be, it's dude, it's, it, you beat my brother, I will kick your fucking right. ass. There, there's a story yes. to be sold. Oh, my God. It's the Conor McGregor crazy. show, the Conor McGregor belt, the oh. open weight. It doesn't matter. It's a fun fight. And I can't think of uh, like a more epic battle 
to sell a pay-per-view. That's it. I agree. I'm all in. I never even thought of this angle. Hands down. This is amazing, Matt. Pants down, <laughs> hands up or something. He here, wins. Here are the UFC people going, fuck, <laughs> he got us again. That's we got to cheers bitch. the whole plan. <laughs> he has four for four. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kill that man. Yeah. I'll Kill him. Dead. Take it out next yeah. week. That's right. But before we get into all that, yeah. can we talk about the thing that's slightly below that? You're sure. Which is still so exciting. About. Holly Holm, you oh, should take... Oh, you trying to shift gears? Let's keep riding this one. You keep going? Because I can edit it very nice and clean. Okay, great. Sorry. Fuck it. We're going to go going. backwards for a change. All right, fine. So let's talk so, about this fight? Yeah, yeah. All right. You want to hear my prediction? You want to hear my thoughts? Yeah. I think this fight comes down, plain and simple, to footwork. Okay? You got Nate Diaz, who's mm -hmm. a plotting boxer, lots of cardio, amazing ground game, and you got Conor McGregor with the angles and, and the timing and everything else. Whoever has the best footwork in this fight wins this fight. I think they're both going to be okay cardio-wise. I know it's a big, like, 180 for, for McGregor as far as who he was going to fight. Mm -hmm. I'm just worried about Nate uh, being just a boxer and trying to play the whole, like, pitter-patter game and getting eaten alive, like, by Connor's angles and everything else. And he has been vulnerable to the KO a few times recently, and I know that they, mm -hmm. they, 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 they kind of... Only one. You know, Nate has only had one loss. Was it two? I thought it was twice. One. He's got two. Well, his, the two times he's been finished, one was TKO and the other one was a submission oh, early right. in his career. I forgot about that. That was the fight where, didn't they almost stop it? Or they were gonna, did they stop it? Which one? The one that he lost? My memory's not working now. Nate, he was getting his ass beat. And I thought that... They were about to throw a towel in yes. one of them. Yes. He was, I mean, he was out on his feet and all this nonsense. So, all right. I need, I need to put my... Tongue back in my mouth because I'm like stepping <laughs> on my tongue too, here. Fire it out for too crazy. All right. I'm not saying Nate has no chin. I'm just saying that he has a tendency it's to just like to go it, go out balls out. And I think Connor can put it on him in a, in a way that maybe hasn't happened before. Um, I'm really not 100% sure how this is going to go. I will say this. I don't think this hits the ground at all. I, I think they're not. Connor doesn't want any part of the ground game. No. And I, I don't, Nate is not very good at taking it to the ground. I mean, some, he, he gets the clinch and the trips and stuff, but I mean, I don't know if he can get close I, enough to Connor to do that. You know? He could. Could he? I, I'm, you know, when I look at it, I'm thinking of from the Diaz standpoint, I, is he too proud to take it to the ground? Diaz? Yeah. Probably. He's going to stand and bang, man. Fuck it. The cardio is, is a wild card because Connor has never really, like... He hasn't been pushed. Yeah, so it's like, what, what happens when... Most guy of his wins keep... are first round. Yeah. KOs. You, who was talking about that? Was it Boss on the Rogan? Something about, like, hitting guys and, like, never letting them breathe. Like, even though it's not powerful, it's just, like, every time you go take... Oh, we get hit in the face yeah. again. You get hit again. Get... And, and even like, if it's 50%, it doesn't you're still matter. getting hit. Yeah. So what's that going to do to Connor? What's your stamina bar look like? A video game wise, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. It just keeps... Dropping, dropping, dropping. Yep. I think it's footwork. It's it's boxing versus like really technical like kickboxing slash whatever you want to call Connor's Connor style. I say this goes a distance. I think it will be extremely close, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and say McGregor wins no matter what if it goes to decision. That's my prediction. Well, it's uh, I'm looking at some stats here. I'll throw it out. So McGregor finishes 94 percent of his fights. That he wins. He's 17 of 19 of them are by KO. His two losses are from sub. Nate has only been stopped the two times. Once was TKO, once was sub. 83% of the fights he won, he finished. Yes. Out of those, 11 of the 18 were by sub. So, obviously, his best chance would be by submission. Submission, but yep. I, I just I hate the short notice fights for McGregor again. You're catching guys when, I mean, if I if I have to pick a fighter that's probably in shape, that's not. Oh yeah. Training, I I'd say a Diaz is probably oh, sure. out of all the fighters on yeah. the roster, probably the best bet for someone that's in mm -hmm. good shape, but maybe not fight shape. Yes. All these other guys, I can't say that about because these guys yeah. are always fucking. I think he was training for a triathlon yeah, actually supposedly. at the time, yeah. so. He's in some sort of shape. Is that is it fight shape? I don't know. Is it the shape that you fought Michael Johnson and look incredible? I don't know. Well, it remains to be seen. The good thing is, though, we are doing it up a weight class, so these guys aren't going to fucking drain themselves. McGregor's not going to look like death mm -hmm. at the weigh-ins, and 
I don't think McGregor's ever going back to 45. Yeah, how does he do that? He's he, huge. He, if he's 177 and you're fighting at 45, <laughs> fuck off. 30 pounds. Wrong 30 weight pounds. class. 55, Jeez. still a wrong weight class. Should be in 170, but it's neither here nor there. But I keep thinking that McGregor has to li- I've said it. He's got to lose within one or two fights. I'm afraid to pick against him right now. Yeah, I really am. It's tough. I thought that Aldo fight would go so much longer, <laughs> and he KO'd yep. him fucking instantly. And then you look at a guy like Nate Diaz, who, who just, he's so hard to finish. Yeah. McGregor says he's going to beat him in the first round. I can't, uh, I kind of have to go with that. I'm, well, does I hate he, does to he, say I wonder, that. Does he see something in his game where it's like a huge opening? or He's got ridiculous power. That's the thing. Yeah, it's, it's almost deceptive because he, he just, he, it's, I think you watch him and you realize he's putting like the mechanics, it's the whole body. It isn't just like from the shoulder, from the hips. It's like literally his entire life force is like on the end of that punch. And you go, dude, how does he do that every time? Ido Portal, I forgot. He has him in his corner. It's the movement coach thing. He's totally going to win, right? (laughs) Movement. It's all about movement and angles. And I forgot what his little spiel was. What do you say? Precision beats something and speed or power. He's got a cool little phrase that I can't quite remember. Yes. Position of peace, power. Beats Whatever. Speed. Something. Cock beats balls. So we're both picking Rock McGregor, beats, it sounds like. Scissors. I should pick against him. But I really I just, want to. If it was Dos Anjos, I would have picked against him in a heartbeat. You know what I'd really love to see? Mm. I'd love to see a uh, uh, Nate Diaz, Donald Cerrone fight. Again? No, no. I, and I, I would like, like to see Nate do to McGregor what he did to to Cerrone oh, Rem- remember that yeah. he just melted that guy de- and Cerrone was like motherfucker well if you know? he if he goes down the steroid talk yeah that hit a nerve I've never seen uh, McGregor get a nerve hit from something that somebody else mm-hmm. said mm-hmm. and usually like we said <laughs> where there's smoke there's fire yes there is and when you have the most money probably out of any UFC fighter right now currently fighting uh, you have access to said drugs that other fighters may not have access to. Yep. I'm just saying. Hey. Nate Diaz said everyone in the UFC is on steroids except him and his brother. They're just on weed. <laughs> That's a performance enhancing drug. Yes, it is. Um, so, so interesting. What do you think? Here's a good question. Good. What do you think the pay-per-view buy is going to be on this thing? You know, the, the crazy thing is it's going to be higher now against Diaz than it would have been against Dos Anjos mm-hmm. by far. Yep. When this fucking thing, this press conference was going on, I want to say there was over 300,000 people yep. watching it live on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Unprecedented <laughs> territory. It's crazy. We, we may be hitting the Brock Lesnar area of pay-per-view right now. We're definitely over a million. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, this card is kind of shit after the main and co-main yeah. event. I'm not excited for. I forgot who what the other fights are, but I got not here. not main card uh, worthy of a pay per view event. iPad is fucked up. So, but based on just this fight alone, fuck man, I gotta say it's one point five million. One point five. I'm going one point five. Wow, you are right, man. There is uh the main and co-main, and then after that, it's fucking like. <laughs> I, this looks like not even a Fox like right. free card. Right, like, like, I wow. want to have people over and enjoy a UFC event like we normally do, and we'll probably just be talking over the first Been three drunk fights. the first three fights. Hey, hey but fight. hey, yeah, it's always a good time. So, God. yeah, we're both gonna go. What a world we're living in. Yeah, eh, hey, these are fun times. It is the McGregor open weight belt. See, he's my champion. He's a little light for my liking, but. We we'll both go on McGregor, Magic yeah. Eight Ball. You're coming out of retirement. Better not tell me now. Fucking sticky ass Eight Ball. It's been bejesus on. Conor McGregor. The <laughs> three of us cho- choosing together is never Uh-oh. bad for your the health. <laughs> I don't know if does that exist anymore. Maybe we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Can so, he be stopped? What if he's like sold himself to the devil? <laughs> he might have like the Ghost Rider, the cage. Mm-hmm. Sell yourself to the devil. You can keep winning and winning. He does have a horseshoe up his ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Frank Mir. Mm-hmm. Brock Lesnar. 
I'm going to take that horseshoe out of his ass and beat him upside the head with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Holly Holm versus Misha Tate. This is weird. This fight is so not going to get talked about. Nope. They asked Holly, do you even care that you guys are at a co-main event and there's another fight that's not a title fight, that's a five-round event above you? She's like, I don't care. She's so humble. Love yeah. this woman. I agree. I mean, fuck, Misha hasn't fought in, like, I'm just looking, July of 2015. It's been a long time. She's been on the, on the shelf here. Well, here's my challenge for Misha. Her fight IQ sucks. I am sorry. <laughs> Look at her fights with Ronda Rousey. What should I not do? <laughs> not clinch. Yes. What do I do? Clinch every time I can get my hands on her. I want to. I want to clinch her, and her striking again. Wow. All the, a lot of the women in this division of the UFC is just not good. And Misha, her striking again, not good. I think probably the best act aspect of her game is the grappling. Mm -hmm. And. I think it's a it's a tougher fight for Holly for sure. It's yeah, you know, styles make matchups, and I think this is a style wise a tougher fight for her versus the Ronda fight. But I kind of see the same thing is gonna happen that mm -hmm. if she keeps the distance, does the same thing. I think we're gonna see another left head kick, devastating KO because you know for damn well sure. Greg Jackson, Mike Winklejohn have game planned this shit out of this. They know what's going to go on. Mm -hmm. You just said Misha Tate hasn't fought in forever. Yep. I don't know where her head is in this game. Yeah. Well, she was close to retiring and all this. Yeah. And she was getting fed up with all this bullshit. And then another title shot, another title shot, another title shot. Um, at some point, that's got to work on you too mentally. Like I keep getting there, but don't get it. I get there, I don't get it. Yeah. And uh, Uriah Faber knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. How many times that Small guy keeps getting there? A lot. So, <sighs> I, I just, uh, I, I think, uh, I think Misha's going to sleep. I know she's tough. You know, yeah. I mean, you look at like that um, fight with Ronda and Strike Force where she breaks her arm. Yeah. She, and she kept going. <laughs> she did. I mean, I think this fight definitely gets out of the first round, but because of that reason, because Misha's tough, mm. but. At the end of the day, I have to agree that the striking level is just world world class different. I mean, the it's, it's not even right. close. Like, and and Holly, I think, has been through so much controversy in her career already. I'm not sure you can test her in a in a way that she maybe is not prepared for. You know, so I mean, she got if you go back and Google, she got her ass beat in some fight, like kickboxing. Oh, oh my there's god! There's that one fight where she's like knocked out. Is a boxing? Oh match. yeah. She's knocked out on the ropes, and they should have stopped the fight. Didn't stop it. Kept going. Good Lord, man. She came back six months later and beat that chick. So, dude, that's a it's champion. Tough, man. Yeah, tough man. I think shit. that's. Uh, I think the women are just tougher <laughs> than men. Do they have babies? Okay. Yeah, I can't do that. My yeah. pain threshold not good. No. Oh, putsy. <laughs> I can cut my finger like ah. Exactly. Put some stuff exactly. on it. I'm dying. Call so. the doctor. So it, it it's unfortunate, but you know what? I wonder if they'll they'll gain some notoriety based on the fact that everyone's going to tune in for this. Maybe they'll push the, the women's yeah. division up a notch. I mean, Holly has taken all the aura away from Ronda. Ronda still has a little bit of aura left because she's still yeah. doing, the, you know, obviously the Sports Illustrated, movies, whatever else she's got going on. But Holly's been on all these talk shows, this and that, and they had that day for her in Albuquerque where 20,000 people fucking crazy. showed up. So she's... Taking some of that, gaining on that, and then hopefully she can get the win, and then maybe UFC 200 is the catch weight against fucking Chris Cyborg. I don't know if they'll ever make that. 200 fight. McGregor Diaz Cyborg home. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Just wait. Just That'll wait. Be crazy. Come on, UFC, steal all our ideas. It's okay. <laughs> Spider and the kid, take them all. Five million pay per views. At the it's all good. Have it at like the Dallas Stadium or something. It's all good. All right. So well, I think we're in agreement then. Unfortunately, fucking. I was gonna. I'm trying to argue against you, but it's we're it's, like puppets over happening. here. Just no. agree, agree. Shills. Let me guess. Edge of game ball. What do you say? Yeah, Holly Holm. <laughs> without Damn. a doubt. Yeah. Tree for tree. Yeah. Tree, tree, tree in the third period. I think I'm getting seen now. I can't hmm. remember. I literally remember Nate Diaz getting knocked out twice, and you're like, nope. 
Did not happen. Nope. Hmm. I looked at that today. Yeah. Move right along. That's the nuts. That's nuts. We'll so, answer your questions. Last week, we didn't answer the second part of a question. Okay. We kind of glossed over that, so I'm going to re-ask it. So, Matthew Whitehurst asked one question. The second part of it was, if you could choose one MMA-related person to meet, who would it be? MMA-related person? Yeah, a fighter, whoever, in the space. Just put it that way. Uh, Sit down, have a couple beers with. I got to say Boss Rutan. I agree 100%. <laughs> I mean, that guy seems like he has stories for days. Uh, yeah. You would sit down with him and 12 hours would go by and you'd be like, he's still going. <laughs> like, what is, what is going on? Like, you know, nonstop stories of all this. He's so, and he seems very likable. So, I yeah. gotta love him. He would drink. He would actually hang out with you yes. and drink some beers. Oh, and yeah. Have some fun. I just watched Here Comes the Boom again the other I day. I never saw that. On. Should check it Was out. Was that on Amazon Prime? No, it was just on, I think it was on regular cable. I don't okay. even remember. Never saw it. A.M. <laughs> yeah, Miller's in that, right? Yeah, he is. Yes. Gets thrown up upon. Okay, nice. The Kevin James character. <laughs> as I, my stomach starts growling right as I make said motion. Jeff Ellsbury asks, who do you guys think would win in present days? A motivated Bob Sapp or Kimbo Slice? Uh, That's a fucking free show. Whoa. I'm in for that one. Yes. Bellator, make it happen. They could. Uh, wow. Probably Bob Sapp. Yeah. He's bigger. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm agreeing too much. <laughs> Fuck you. No way. Uh, Kumbo Slice. He's a killer. He'll kill you. Yes. He's dead. Uh, yes. It's one Twitter ass. He's got a few questions. Here we go. If you could pick the walkout music for Connor and Nate... Which songs would you choose? I like Big Papa for Nate. <laughs> I lo love it when you call me Big Papa. You know that one for McGregor? Uh, well, you could do the cliche, right? The whole... Don't do it. <laughs> uh, Ship it off the yeah. bus. <laughs> no. I, I thought think about it, that. I, I think like, it just nah. come out the bagpipes, man. Just like old school. Maybe. Just no, no singing, just bagpipes. He likes that Sinead O'Connor for nah, some reason. But I, I'm, I'm going to go with a little 80s flavor. I think Connor should come out to Duran Duran, Hungry Like the Wolf. Oh, there you go. And uh, <laughs> <I like laughs> he's it. hungry, hungry like the wolf. And Nate Diaz, the fuck was that? Oh, Men Without Hats, a little safety <laughs> dance. <laughs> we can dance nice. if you want to. We can leave your friends behind. <laughs> That'll be epic. Your friends <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's in the crowd going, what the fuck is this happening? Yes. Some kind of rave breaks out. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Has Connor positioned himself in such a way that he can never pull out of a fight due to injury? Hey, we gotta give this guy some credit because I forgot. Connor McGregor. He's taking fights on short notice too. Right. So it's it's a challenge on both aspects. Yeah, you are getting a guy on short notice that may not be in shape, but you also game plan for one guy, and now you got to fuck another guy. And right. he's more than willing to do it. I love that, and I appreciate yeah. that. We need more fighters like that. He wants that paper, man. Fuck yeah. Let's get paid. Oh, God. <laughs> he's getting sick money, and oh, Nate's yeah. getting sick money, and they all should. They all should. Why not? So do you think he can pull out of a fight if he gets injured? Uh, I think he can, but I think he won't. There's too much money, Yeah. right? That's that, that line of where do you step in? The fighter, well, in his case, he's actually made enough. Where I don't think he, he could actually pull out and financially be all right. A lot of the other fighters, I'd say 99.9% .9 yeah. of all other fighters, have to take the fight because they need the money. They're just not yeah. getting paid enough. I wonder if at this point he's been very active if it's going to catch up to him at some point, you know? Like back to back to back major fights, you know. So it's oh, like, yeah. is his body gonna hold up for this? I mean, he gets through this one. Is his, if he does a two hundred in the summer, is it? I mean, that's like three four months, three four months. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty active cycle here. He's maybe you need to take some time. Well, off. Well, he's worried about the head because there's at some point you can only redline it so far. Ronda found that point out. Yep. You know, at least Connor isn't doing all the movies and the bullshit. He's doing the talk show circuit, which oh, yeah. I get, but that's part of being super popular, famous. You have yeah. to do some of these things. Oh, but yeah. 
You don't have to do the movies. I think once he starts going down that movie route, <laughs> that's the beginning of the end. Yeah. The beginning of the end. What are the chances, one through 100%, that Nate pops for weed after UFC 196? <laughs> you just asked this. Well, uh, I think that got implanted in me. So. Uh, 50-50. I think he's smart. When this kind of money's on the line... I think, okay, you have to think he's, he's learned his lesson, man. Notice, he's learned his lesson. He's ten he that shit out. Ten not days in ten enough. days. Enough. Not with their, their crazy system. I don't know. But do, doesn't he have to only be under a certain level? 150, but okay. I don't know where that <laughs> range is, right? Yeah. Because Nick thought he had that shit down to his science and apparently doesn't. Uh, I would say there's a 75% chance, but if he gets the therapeutic use exemption from USADA, what does that do? I don't know. Who has... Because in my mind, Nevada State Athletic Commission trumps USADA. It doesn't matter. You're a third-party organization, just drug testing. I don't give a fuck if you have a therapeutic use exemption from them. We don't accept that. Right, they could. And that's what will probably happen, unfortunately. Will Nate tap Connor with BJJ early, then get big money rematch, or will he stand in trade and obviously lose? Stand and bang. Yeah. I think he'll stand and bang. Yep. I would like to see him take it down to the ground, though. I would, too. Choke him out. Choke him I out would conscious. go as far as to say perhaps the part of the undertone of this whole let's make a deal kind of thing is like, you're not going to do jujitsu, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> a gentleman's agreement yeah. to stand and bang, if yeah. you will. We're going to throw hands, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, motherfucker, I'll fucking yeah. throw hands. Fuck it. Fuck you and your belt. Yeah. I don't care about belts. Then why you carry it around all the time? <laughs> 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 Exactly. Yeah. Nick or Nate two, Connor zero. <laughs> yeah. Holy one that question. I, I only watched part of that. That ex- I thought he was ge- he's losing the in- exchange in the verbal match. I didn't see that ending that you were describing. I got that, and then his brother Nick tweeted that out of like the meme. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Winning. I like it. Deal turkey gas. Please recap Bisbing Silva and give your thoughts. Bisbing scored thirty four percent more. Total and 31% more significant strikes in a fight, but everyone seems to get stuck on that flying knee and the visual damage on Bisbing. Is Silva just not the same fighter he used to be, or did everyone just realize he's a human being and stop being afraid of him? What are your thoughts? I do know. Gino's a Comprito guy, old school. I don't know if he goes there anymore, but anyways, um, it's a good question. I feel like it's all of the above. Like People realize Anderson's human. They're not scared of him anymore. So, and Anderson's always done this crazy stuff. It seems to get worse and worse. And now it's like feeding itself. I think he has to be more crazy, right? Because he knows his skills are perhaps declining and then whatever yeah. else. We, we said our opinion earlier. I mean, I think the, the, the ruling was fair, you know? Uh, damage is, is really deceptive sometimes. Because mm-hmm. some guys bleed, some guys don't. And you said BJ Penn and Anderson Silva. Just... Those two guys always come to mind. And, and again, my memory is obviously not what it used to be because I... <laughs> But I remember BJ getting his shit kicked out of him by GSP, and I don't think he was that messed up. Maybe a little swollen. He was puffy, but I don't it remember wasn't like, him really bleeding ever. No, no, no. So some guys don't bleed. They don't cut. They don't, you know, it's just kind of maybe facial structure or how they... You had said when we were watching it, like, Anderson never really gets hit flush, so maybe that's what it is. He's always, like... Shucking and jiving, yeah, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it's sad, because the guy had such an aura about him for so long, mm-hmm. and... It just, it's gone. Like, it's, like, so fucked up. He's like a to, shell of yeah. his former self. And I wonder how much of it is is it's gone because he no longer believes it or because his opponents no longer believe it. Like, what's, what's worse? It's probably everything. Because remember when he beat Nick, how he broke down in the octagon and started bawling his yeah. eyes out? never did that before. No. And that's probably after, you know, you get knocked out by Chris Weidman and you break your leg horribly in the next fight and lose again. Mm-hmm. And then you come back and fight Nick, and you then after that, you test positive for steroids and then can't fucking admit it and whatever. Nope. And I think he's fueled by arrogance, age, and no PEDs right now. And all that is, has a cumulative effect, plus, like you're saying, the, the other fighters don't fear him like they used to anymore. No. You, you see he's, he's beatable, and he's very beatable right now. Of course. Rich Franklin, here's your chance. Yeah. <laughs> Rich Franklin, wank, wank. Get in there. You can get your nose readjusted That's for right. free. It's all good. 
Caleb Medeiros. Anderson Silva KO'd Bisbing. I say the knee was completely legal as you have to keep fighting until the ref stops it. Do you agree? And what do you think of the decision? No, dude, the freaking bell rang. I don't care if he crumbled. He he crumbled and he started complaining. So it's not, I don't think he was out. It was just more like I mean, the, the whatever the the, the, the knee was legal. He just yes. that is a mental breakdown from Bisbing yes. and you know that happened before in a Luke Rockhold fight where he either got kicked in the groin or poked in the eye. I think he got poked in the eye. He's like, I poke, I poke, I poke. And he just, if everything doesn't go perfect for the guy, he he fucks up and yeah. focuses on that. And that, I think that maybe if you're going to fight Bisbing, maybe you need to follow him. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, God. Seems to take the guy off his game. It's a strategy, huh? Yeah, I'm just saying. Could be a strategy. John Jones strategy. That's right. <laughs> Brandon Otoski, would you rather be Bisbing's face or Dada's heart? Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'd, I'll take Bisbing's face because I guarantee you <laughs> that motherfucker went and had a beer like an hour after the fight. But Dada is still apparently in the hospital. Yeah. Right? So I don't know. Going, I mean, he's going to make it out or not. That's why I like fun fights. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a question from me Who are fighters that we've met that made me feel small? Uh, I forgot to bring this up last week. Karatanov. Remember when we walked in or saw him backstage oh, yeah. at Glory? Yes. Like, holy <laughs> fuck is this guy big. big. The melon on oh, him. Yeah. His head's the the shoulders. Head's like, yeah. That guy was fucking massive backstage. <laughs> it's holy that shit. Eastern block shit. Yeah. They're feeding them the good stuff. Like, see, that guy, he's big. <laughs> that guy's oh. big. Yes. Big motherfucker. Did you just ask yourself a question? Yeah, I did. Thank you, Because I'm <laughs> trying awesome. to... Awesome. When we, we do the questions right. from last week, and I'm, I'm editing the show, I have <laughs> thoughts of, oh, fuck, I should have said that, or, oh, fuck, I should have said that. So I'm going to bring them back in. Nice. You should refer to yourself in the third person. Yeah. The Matt things. The Matt. I'll be like, the Chris. <laughs> the wide men. Uh, Rodrigo Machado. Would you rather go deaf in one ear or only be able to use the internet one hour per week? Well, I'll take the definite in one ear. <laughs> That's 100%. terrible. That's so you terrible. Have to. I'm, I'm addicted to the internet. I can't do without it. Sorry. No, we both said that. <laughs> I would. Sorry. I'd give up TV oh, over the fucking internet oh, yeah. in a heartbeat. The internet is my life's blood right Here's now. Here's a good. Would you rather? Would you rather give up sex forever or the internet? Wow. <sighs> oh no! There is a great question. <laughs> what would you do? Hmm. Well, I could still beat off. Nope. No. No. no sex you said in, sex. No sex Beating of any off kind. is not sex. Sex with yourself. No. That's masturbation. Mm. It's not sex with myself. I'm going to give up sex forever and keep the internet. <laughs> 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 because then I, I can it. fuck whoever I want, whenever I want, however Virtual I want. Virtual reality? Yes. Okay. It's not as satisfying, but I still have my lifeline. <laughs> Your lifeline. <laughs> I'll take a lifeline. I can't give that up. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm giving up the internet. Because how much longer are you going to have sex for anyway? I'm I don't know. 42. I'm dead. I, hope, I hope I'm fucking when I die. That's, that's oh, where, that's where so I'm you're at. giving up the internet? <laughs> yes. Okay. Fair enough. And then, Rodrigo Machado, I don't understand your last question, but I'm going to say it anyway. If the Chicago Bears, Chicago Blackhawks, and Chicago Cubs would win 10 championships in a row, starting in 2020... Would you guys swap wives for a year? That means do everything with a swapped wife. Well, I can already answer this for Ingo since he's not from fucking Chicago yes. land area. There's no affiliation to any fucking Chicago team. So that's already a no from that standpoint. And I don't watch football, hockey, or what was the other one? Basketball? Baseball. Or baseball. It, we don't, I don't give a fuck about sports. I have no stake in this. To the extent... Mm. there's. I don't think there's anything in my life that I could say... Yeah, I'll make that happen. I'll swap my wife for a year. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. <laughs> That's not crazy this seriously. Question. What? I don't care about shit that much, and especially sports. Yeah, it's just not gonna Maybe happen. If you won like, if you had like a billion dollars, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> You could do a think about it before you right, guys, I'm, I'm, with a billion a dollars. Billion. I'm sorry, I'm fucking your wife. <laughs> Great. <laughs> awesome. Sorry. Well, if we both get a billion dollars, I'm in. That's down. Then it's, uh, our wives are getting fucked. Sorry. <laughs> sucks. Great. But we're all rich as shit, so does it matter at that point? <laughs> Probably. Bad. Uh, things were now we just crossed same. lines that shouldn't have been oh, crossed. Oh, God. Things were said that can yes, be taken yeah. back. That's right. Moving right along to knowledge. All right, let's shift gears. Shift them. I want to draw your attention to something. Prepare 
to be freaked the fuck out. This is what they're doing. DARPA. Boston Dynamics. It's this DARPA. is happening right now, dude. This is, look at this thing. Oh, yeah, I saw this robot, and there's a guy Watch. beating it with a Watch. stick. Watch, yeah, he's going to start hitting the box. This is how. Yep, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for this robot to start getting pissed because yeah, it's fucking moving this box. And then if you go to the end, oh, oh, I missed it. Hold on. They make the sad bar. But this is how the Terminator oh. starts. You Look. piss off a robot. Boston Dynamics. Google this shit. I don't know if Matt's going to throw the video up or whatever, but they, they're... Look. Oh, here it is. DARPA. I'm going to throw you down. Boom. Up. Oh. Yeah, fuck you, robot. And this thing gets back up. This seems like not a big deal. This is so incredibly, like, groundbreaking forefront of robotics in general. It's fucking freaky. And look at how this thing moves. Well, right. I just wonder, the, the only question is, what's the battery life on that? He's not connected to wires, but I can't imagine that lasting for more than, like, five minutes, like a RC car. Sure. Because I'd imagine the power requirement to do all this, huge, off the charts, and not the amount of batteries that he'd be able to carry. No, so from I that standpoint, until they can improve batteries, I don't think we have a problem. And I wonder how durable they are to water. Good points. All good points. I'm already thinking. I will say this, though. They um, are making groundbreaking advancements in car technology with batteries. It's only a matter of time, sir. Only a matter of time. Of what? For the, the battery. robots come? Yes. Ah, fuck it. Bring them. It's freaking me Bring out. Bring it. Yeah. I'm weaponized. I'm and ready. You, you look at that, and then you go with that movie we saw, Ex Machina, right? Yeah. Like, you start to, your brain starts to think along the lines, and you go, whoa. Like, we're not that far. Like... You know, ten years in this in this space is not a long time. It's it's like, dude, they can do a lot of shit in ten years. And what's gonna happen ten years from now? Ten years ago, they didn't even have this. They're fucking little tiny little things that they're making bounce off walls. Now I'm sure that robot will drive me <laughs> here and there, and yeah, I like good shit. Hmm. It'll all work out. I'm not afraid of the robots. The robots don't scare me. me out. Other shit scares me. Robots, not so much. All right. Did it? Fine. <laughs> You're not going to get me going with robots. Damn it. But the guy poking a stick with a, poking a robot with a stick, not the smartest move. That no. guy's going to be the first to go <laughs> down. Hey, asshole, remember when we were in that testing phase? You mm -hmm. thought it would be all funny and knock me down with a fucking stick? <laughs> How do you like your legs? Chopped <laughs> off, yeah. Half or quarter? What do you mean? Slack. <laughs> you have half. <laughs> Perfect. Great. That's right. it. Shut it down. That has been this week's edition of Anime Nuts. My name is Ingo Wago. Make of it. Thanks for playing. Have a nice